Hi everyone, Julie here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, um, I want to talk about some underhype products that I really like and I don't hear a lot of people talking about here on YouTube. <clears throat> um, if you like that sort of thing, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, please feel free to do so. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, let's get into it. So first up, foundation. This is the Tarte Face Tape. This is such a beautiful foundation on. It is a bit matte, um, but it's just so easy to work with and it wears so nicely. I reach for this a lot if I just have somewhere to go and I just want something that I know just looks nice every time. I reach for this almost always. Okay, powder. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Translucent. This is so nice. So I did a video, if if you're new here, I did a video on overhyped products. And in that, I mentioned the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, which I hate. This is so much cheaper and so much better than that. Highly, highly recommend this. So much better. Also, for those of you familiar with the Cody Airspun, powder, which is also a drugstore powder. This is so much better than that. And it does not smell like old lady. So just FYI, I do not like that powder. That is way too cakey and it smells like old lady. This doesn't have a scent and it's not cakey. All right. Sticking with the powder theme. One thing I do like from Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, invisible pressed powder. Do not let the white scare you. I have I hit pen on this. Um, this I love for setting my under eyes. It is what I have for my under eyes today. I almost always set my under eyes with this. I don't know. It is made of magic. It's so finely milled and it just, it doesn't like white cast my under eyes, but it's just, if I set my under eyes, it is almost always with that powder. It is just beautiful. Love it. Love everything about it. Okay. Bronzer. Laura Geller Beach Matte Baked Hydrating Bronzer. I have mine in Sunset Deep. Beautiful. It is very hard to find a neutral tone bronzer. They're almost always quite warm toned because they're made to warm your face up. Um, this is such a neutral bronzer. Just very, very beautiful. Also, it is matte bronzer. Some say they're matte and they're not really matte. They have a, they're like a satin. This is truly a matte bronzer. So, so nice. Like just such a beautiful formula. Wears for a long time. Chef's kiss to Laura Geller. The next bronzer, number seven bronzer. This is in the shade Caramel. This one is more of, I would call a satin um, finish. This pulls a bit warm. Like, this is a true like bronzer warming up of the skin. I don't mind that necessarily. I just, I like the Laura Geller better because it's a, a little more neutral, but this one I love as well. Totally underrated. So nice from the drugstore. Um, but it is a bit more satin. I don't mind a satin finish. I just don't like a shimmer finish. Um, very, very nice. <sighs> My favorite. Well, okay, my second favorite. My favorite section is eyeshadow, but my second is blush. Okay, from the drugstore, Rimmel Maxi Blush. I only picked one of these out of my collection because I have like four or five. This one is in 004 Sweet Cheeks, but all of them are amazing. They're so nice. Very nice to work with. Not too, too pigmented. Just enough. They're not patchy. They wear for a long time. They're like, I don't know. I think they're like, I don't know, six or eight dollars. I, I don't even know. I don't even know because I don't care because they are beautiful and I will buy them every time. These are so very nice from the drugstore. Love them. I have, I'm trying to collect the whole entire thing. And at one point I had 002 and I don't know what happened to it, but I think I gave it away because it was too light and didn't show up on my skin, but I'm not sure, but I'm trying to collect them all. <laughs> all right. 
next, like, not, you can't get it at the drugstore. I got it at Ulta, but it's like drugstore prices. And it's the Makeup Revolution, the matte blush. I've got a few of these. Again, beautiful, beautiful formula. I'm going to be really honest. There's not a ton from Makeup Revolution I like. I've tried a lot from Makeup Revolution over the years. It's kind of a hit and miss brand for me, okay? When I first got really into makeup, I was like, oh, their eyeshadow palettes are great. Mm, they're kind of hit or miss, okay? I've basically decluttered them all throughout the years because I just found, like, their formula really wasn't that great. Like, I thought it was good, but it kind of wasn't. Oh, I broke it again. Okay, packaging leaves a little bit to be desired, okay? This is the second time I've broken it. Um, This is also the second time I've filmed this video. Nope, just kidding, the third. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, anyways, these are very, very nice. All right, third blush, because I can't help myself. And no one talks about this brand really that much, except their eyeshadow palettes, which is weird to me. Um, it's from Lorac. This is in the shade Aura. As you can see, I'm not that picky on shades of blushes. I like them all. Um, these are very, very beautiful. And they wear a long time. Like, I don't know why nobody talks about Lorac blushes. I, I don't know. Okay. Staying on the Lorac train, but getting off the blush train. The Lorac highlighters. Same thing. I don't know why people aren't talking about more about Lorac, except they do talk about their eyeshadow palettes, but I never hear them really talk about anything else. Um, this is in the shade Starlight. And it's so... Okay. I'm sorry. I was going to try to not swatch things too much on this video, but okay. Like, see it, it's like not there. Oh, there it is. You know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know. It's so pretty and you can build it up, but it's not like too in your face unless you want it to be just oh, such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. All right. The next highlight. And I do hear people talk about this sometimes, but I just feel like not enough. This is the Milani Strobe Light in 901 Afterglow. Kind of the same thing with the, with the Lorac one. Except like, oh, see, it just, I don't know. It just gives you that really natural highlight unless you want more highlight. Okay, I have to take this off my hands because I will get highlighter everywhere. More soft, my fingers. Because I will get it everywhere. Okay. Next thing. I have two eyeliners. Number one. Okay. This one started off about the same size as that one. So I clearly love this. This is the Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner. This one is just in black. Um, Maybe. I mean, it probably had like a blackout. These are amazing. It goes in the waterline, super smooth. It stays literally all day. Like sometimes I feel like I have to almost scrub it out. Um, these, like they just glide on. So nice. My favorite eyeliner by far ever. Um, and the next one is the Tarte Sugar Rush Easy on the Eyes. I have mine in mint, which is just honestly kind of sold on the color. But again, glides on super nice. Sorry, my eye wants the water. Glides on super smooth, stays on all day. Really, that's all I want my eyeliner to do. I just want it to glide on smooth and stay on all day. I have very sensitive, very watery eyes, and I just want it to go on nice, you know? All right, three more products and we are done. I will go with lips next. Elf. Plumping Lip Gloss. This is like my third tube. And as you can see, I have used a lot of this one. I think I have at least one or two more backups. This is in Pink Cosmo, but I'm gonna be honest, I never really care. It doesn't have much of a color. It's just has a little tiny bit of sparkle, but not like you can't feel, can't feel the sparkle. And I don't, I don't usually wear it by itself. I put it on like while I'm putting my makeup on or sometimes just at night for funsies. Um, or during the day, whatever. 
I don't really wear it by itself. I just put it on because it makes me feel like my lips are more plump. I don't know. It doesn't burn. It doesn't like give a super buzzing feeling. Like if you have ever used Soap and Glory plumping lip glasses, they like buzz. It's not like that. It's just kind of like a, like a little, I don't know, <clears throat> almost like a little tiny bit of that, but not really. Almost like a buxom lip gloss would be, is kind of how this is, but not quite as intense, if that explains it. But it's not like a minty feeling either. I don't know, but I love these. Totally underrated. Um, Next thing. Okay. I basically hate liquid lipsticks. They're just too drying. I, I can't with liquid lipsticks, except Ofra. They have a nice formula, but I don't, I don't navigate towards liquid lipsticks because, or gravitate towards them because they just, they're just not for me. But this Clarins, this is the Clarins Lip Velvet Lip Perfector. These are so nice. They're not really a true like liquid lip or like a matte. Basically, I don't really like matte lip pretty much anything usually, but it's like a mousse. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, I don't know, like a mousse almost. And it's so comfortable and it wears down and it almost leaves like a stain behind. That is so beautiful. It doesn't flake off. It doesn't chunk off. The wear down is nice. Totally worth the money and so beautiful. It is kind of expensive, but totally worth the money. I kind of want one in every color, to be honest. Okay, last thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this a bazillion times because this is my favorite mascara ever. Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof with the fan brush. I don't know why, but it has to be the fan brush, okay? I tried the curved brush and it does nothing for me. But the fan brush, it just does something mystical and magical. This... Like, I don't wear false lashes because they irritate my eyes. They scratch my eyes. I find it hard to put them on. I know. Everyone says it's easy. I tried. I, I just can't do it, okay? I find them irritating. This mascara is, like, my holy grail of holy grails. And nothing has ever, like, knocked it off, which I keep trying mascaras thinking something maybe will. Nothing has. This is totally underrated. Nobody ever talks about this and it's amazing. Seriously. I have tried the other ones people rave about and they're just not that good. I'm sorry. They're not, they're not as good. I don't know what to say. Anyways, that is my roundup of underhyped things that I love. And I don't know why no one else is talking about these. Maybe if you run into some of them, maybe try them. If you have tried them, please let me know. Or if you have some holy grail products that you think are underrated or that you just love, please let me know. I would love to try some. Or maybe, you know, if I've tried them too and I love them too, maybe we could chat about it. Let me know in the comments below. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And please consider subscribing if you have not already. I would love to have you be part of my little journey and part of my little group here on YouTube. And I'm going to go live my regular life now, and I will see you all later. Bye.